after we finish the sequence alignment, what you will get is uh, output from this. Uh, and at the time, several genome sequencing centers decided a standard. They call it a SAM file. Uh, it's alignment file. And if you look at the header, it looks something like this. Um, the very beginning is uh, you, you, you have information like um, chromosome lens, you know, how many chromosomes do you look at and the, the genome assembly? For example, it has the information human genome by this time has different versions of annotation. The newest is NCBI 38 genome, HG38. Um, and it, in this genome, you know, we have however number of chromosomes, each chromosome, each chromosome, how long it is. So that information is in the header file. And also, um, it tells you the sequencing platform. Uh, this is in the early days, the solid, which no longer exists, this machine. But it, they're also, you know, Illumina is the current sequencing uh, platform. And there's also read group. Read group is useful in some cases. Supposedly, uh, people, uh, um, put their sample in order to make sure that from like run to run or lane to lane, there's no bias. Sometimes people want to spread their DNA sequence to be run on multiple lanes. If there is GC bias in one, it doesn't interfere with the GC bias in another lane. So at the end, all the, the, DN or the DNA sequence for the one sample needs to be concatenated together. And the read group information is still kept because the normalization is done read group by read group. And after that, you can normalize. Um, this information might be useful, but you may or may not need to even worry if you have all the read in one lane. Uh, and this will also tell you, uh, in this case, you are running a BWA and at what version you were, in order to get the final uh, sequence alignment. So in all the SAM files at the very top, you will get this, you will know kind of a, what machine sequence is, uh, what uh, program do you use to do the alignment, what version of the human genome are you trying to align to, and how many chromosomes are there in this, chrom in this genome, and so on. So those information, and, and there's some other comments. But after that, this is the actual mapping result. Uh, so basically, um, this is the read name. You can see this is the read name. And then this is the um, mapping. Um, yeah, so if it's zero, it means it mapped to, it, it is okay, it's mapped to a particular location. If it's four, it means we could not find this location in the genome, which is not rare. If you sequence some human samples, it's very, very common for about 10 to 30% of your sequences to not map to a human genome. It could have contamination, some germs in the air, and, and so on. So uh, four is unmappable. 16 means it is mapped, but it's mapped to the reverse strand in, in here. Okay, um, and next is the, um, yeah, so next is uh, the, the actual map, the location. You know, this sequence is mapped to reverse strand, chromosome nine, this particular location. Um, and uh, this is the actual sequence that you get, and this is the sequence quality score. So actually, SAM file contains the information from your original FASTQ file, um, because this is the read name. Uh, this is whether it's mapped, where it is mapped, and this is the sequence, and this is the quality score. And then, um, yeah, so the, this, this one, in case you have some mismatches on that sequence, it will tell you where that sequence is uh, in the mismatch. Um, so, for example, this one, everything matched, you have no mismatch. Yeah, uh, mis NM is number of mismatches, this, this is, is zero. But in this one, you can see here, um, there are actually two mismatches of this sequence back to the reference genome. But where are they? You can actually read it in here. Um, the first the three is a good match, but at then, uh, at, uh, in this location, the reference sequence uh, is a C, uh, but in our sequence, one, two, three, four, it's an A. So you know that the reference genome is a C, uh, but our sequence is an A. You can read from here. And then we have another 30 nucleotide that matches. And then in the reference sequence is T, but in our sequence is one, two, three, it's this space. Our sequence is a D. So they, they tell you where the mismatch appears, and then there are three perfect match, right? 
And you can see here, this one is a mappable, so we didn't find a location of this guy. Right, so you can see this. Okay, and so um, at the end, you will just get this uh, SAM file. Um, you can visualize this directly. Oh, by the way, the SAM file can also be uh, compressed into a binary file, and these are called BAMs. In the homework, uh, later on, you will see that in alignment, and actually nowadays, all the computational algorithms uh, that deal with data, they can deal with BAM files. But if you want to see what the SAM files look like, you can still output a SAM just to visualize it. You will see that it has a header, and it's just like rows and rows and rows of this, this kind of thing. Every sequence is, is aligned. Uh, it will tell you whether it finds a location, whether it finds multiple locations, or it didn't find a place, OK? Uh, but you can compress it into a BAM file, which contains pretty much all the information in your original FASTQ that you can go back to. And uh, algorithms um, can deal with this to look at the counts, look at differential abundance, but you can also just visualize this on a genome browser. Um, in the labs, you will see some genome browser in here. And this is an example um, of reads. These are actually uh, cDNA reads that are mapped to the axons. You can see the reads are on this axon, the reads are mapped to this axon, and, and you can see the reads in here. But the introns, there are not so many reads. So each of these little blocks here it indicates a read is mapped to that location, okay? Um, and uh, uh, there, there's another file format called a bad file, which people don't really use to look at the full alignment. It's usually used to store genomic intervals. Later on, you will see in the uh, chip seq lecture, uh, you can use it to represent peaks in the genome, or you can annotate uh, genes in the genome, certain interesting locations. So it's an easier format in here. Uh, it just says uh, it's chromosome one, uh, starting position, ending position, and uh, you can give it a like peak one, peak two, you know, like you can give it a name and you have some scores and whether it appears in plus or minus strength. You can use it to represent your read alignment, but people don't do it. In the very early days, people tried it, but you can see it lose a lot of information. You just know some coordinate, but you lose some information. Um, and then this is the bad file specification. And, and this bad file can also be compressed into something called the big bad. Uh, it's just a binary form um, that is it's a smaller form that people can do computations on very quickly. But generally, for most of the read mapping, you will get a, a BAM file, okay? And so that's the summary for today. Um, so we, we, you know, there are first generation sequencing, second and third, and most of the time in this course, we're gonna give you second generation sequencing from Illumina. And the sequences you get from this sequencing machine is the FASTQ file with four lines per sequence. And then you first use FASTQC to do quality assessment of your sequencing. And then you will, read, you will use algorithm to map the read back to the genome you are interested in. Um, there are different ways to do this. Um, there's a BLAST approach, which is really slow, but people don't do this for high throughput sequencing. STAR uh, use suffix array, which you will sh we will see in the next lecture, how we do RNA-seq mapping. And uh, BWM bowtie both use boros waller transformation and LF mapping to find the location. And finally, the aligned reads are stored in the SAM or BAM files. So in homework one, we're going to ask people to try to do some alignment. You just like, we don't allow do, do too much, one million reads. You can run it and see, you know, what the input file was the output file, okay?